Okay guys, like I was saying earlier, uh, this is a discussion about the 2014 Ford truck. So anything 2009 to 2014 should all be the same. Let's take a look. As I said in another video, I've added powerful mirrors to this truck. Without having the option from the factory, uh, I went ahead and bought the kit ran the wires through this cluster here uh, up underneath and over to a power source I think it was uh, based off one of the uh, uh, ports that's always on so I think it was actually off that one there but you can go ahead and add it to the fuse box uh, the fuse box is underneath this panel here I believe if I remember right um, and uh, it's really not that hard but you need to set aside pretty much an entire day to take the door panels off and all that kind of stuff so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, without doing it, I'm going to go through and tell you what you need to do to take the door panels off, to change the mirrors, and uh, basic wiring, okay? It's really pretty simple though. So here we go. Basically to remove the door panel, what you need to do is pop this little guy off right here, okay? And then there's a small bolt under there you'll need to remove. Uh, behind this panel, take a very small flathead screwdriver, put something up against this so you don't damage it, and pop that out. There'll be another screw right back there, okay? Now, the other ones you have to worry about are here, down at the bottom. If you look close, you can see one there, and one there. So that's it. One, two, three, four, and then uh, this you'll need to pop out, and there's one more under there, okay? And you just basically pry that up, same thing. Just kind of go toward the middle here, that's where it's a little bit, I don't think there's any meat there. So just put it down about a half inch and pry it up. This is pretty forgiving. Um, you can just go ahead and pry that up and uh, they'll pop up, snap out. And you just snap them back in after you remove that bolt so you don't lose it. Uh, the other thing that people asked about on this job was uh, the wiring. A lot of these kits, when you buy the kits, will come with wires and a switch that are not the factory switch like this one. Now this switch you can add yourself. If you already have power mirrors, you basically just take the one that you have for the power mirrors that don't have the folding and just add this one. I think this is about 12, maybe, yeah, maybe it was 12, 12 to $20 on eBay or Amazon, okay? It just pops right in there. It's actually the same clip, and what you end up doing is adding the wires that you need to to that uh, clip that goes in there. Uh, I'll put some notes in the field lower to show you where to put those, okay? They're also available on forums, etc. This, like I said, was probably the most tricky for people. And you see how I just popped that loose? And I want to show you this because it's not the easiest thing to do. But this is what I did. I drilled out some spares on this thing here and then ran them through. It's pretty hard to see it, I'm sorry. But ran them through to the inside of the body of the truck. That way it goes through the wiring loom through the wiring loom and uh, into the body of the truck and everything's sealed. So you don't have any problems with that, okay? What you don't want to have is you don't want to have some half-assed job where you've got wires hanging out, crossing from here to here and then being folded underneath the seal. Nobody wants to see that. It's not good for resale value and eventually they'll be pinched so many times that they'll short out and not work, okay? So that's pretty much it. Once you get this apart though um, in this door panel by the way this door panel once you get all the screws out you basically lift up poof, about three inches or so and the whole thing will just come away and when you do that um, on this thing here there is a clip on the back you just twist the cable and remove it when you do that it just pops right out you'll see what I mean when you get there but uh, when you get to the back of this there'll be I believe one, two, three uh, different nuts back there and then a clip of its own. And what I did was I ended up running power to this, uh, let me show you, turn the lights on. This turn signal assembly here, which is not lit for some reason. Basically what happens is 
they come with running lights that you can hook up as running lights or puddle lights or turn signal lights. And um, they look pretty cool. I actually replaced mine with LED. So if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, okay? Thanks so much.